this is how to draw the Lewis structure of the sulfite ion. From naming, you may remember that sulfite is SO3 2 minus. So let us first do our math. Okay, electrons required. There are no hydrogens, there are four atoms. Our four atoms would like eight electrons around them. Four electrons required equal to 32. What about our valence electrons? All right, sulfur is in group six. There are three oxygens, which are also in group six. And here's the piece that often students forget. This is an ion with a two minus charge. So we need to add two additional electrons to our valence electron count for a total of 26 valence electrons. All right, 32 minus 26 gives us six electrons, which are going to be in three shared pairs. And 26 minus six will give us 20 electrons, which will be in 10 lone pairs. All right, sulfur is the first atom, so this one gets to be in the center, and I will put oxygens all around. Everybody gets one bond. And just to remind you, each bond, each line, represents two electrons. Okay. Now for the octet count. The oxygen on the left has one, two electrons in the bond. It is going to want three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now when I draw a circle around it, it's got eight electrons. The oxygen on the right so far has one, two. It would like three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once again, it now has access to eight electrons. How about the oxygen up top? One, two. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it has access to eight electrons. Now let's look at the sulfur. Right now, it has one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think I need seven, eight electrons, so that when I draw a circle of ownership here around the sulfur, it has eight electrons in its circle. I have successfully used 26 valence electrons to make everybody think they have eight electrons around them. And we're doing this by double counting some of the electrons here in the bond, making them belong to both atoms on each side of the bond. Now, in this movie, I'd like to introduce you to a further concept, which is known as formal charge. So we'll slide that up. Okay. Formal charge is a way of counting electrons around a particular atom. And the formula for it is group number minus possession number. And if we subtract those, we will get what's known as formal charge. So allow me a second to please redraw our structure. There we go. Now, would we do formal charge when we do possession number? What we're going to do is split the bonding electrons, okay? 
So this isn't like drawing an octet circle. It's actually going to split the bonding electrons. So if I consider this oxygen and I draw a circle around it, it owns all of its lone pair electrons, but only half formally of the electrons in the bond. Now, what group is oxygen in in the periodic table? It's group 6. How many electrons do you see in the circle? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It has a possession number of 7, giving this oxygen a formal charge of minus 1. Alright, how about this oxygen up top? Once again, I will draw the electrons and draw the circle. It owns all the lone pair and half the bond. So, oxygen's in group 6. How many are in the circle? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 in the circle, so the formal charge is again minus 1 for this oxygen. I bet you can guess what the next oxygen is. I will draw a circle, splitting the bond again. It is in group 6 on the periodic table. There are 7 in the circle, and it has a minus 1 formal charge. Alright, what about the sulfur? Sulfur gets all of its lone pair and only half of its bond. When you look at sulfur on the periodic table, it's in group 6. How many electrons do you see in the circle? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah. So its formal charge is plus 1. Formal charge is sort of a way of letting you know where the charge lies on the molecule. And one last interesting thing about formal charge. If I add up the sum of the formal charges, that would be minus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1. What does that add up to? Minus 2. Hmm. What is minus 2 the charge of? Why, I think it is the charge on the sulfite ion. And that is indeed what formal charge is intended to add up to, the charge on the ion.